I'm actually a PC player, I've played PC all my life. I realized that using trackpad for aiming, for me personally, is much more comfortable. Frame rate I set to 60, right pad for aiming plus gyro. I do your 100% and I do roll minus 100%. I can even do it with the gyro. Bam, 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 bam. Almost like a flick stick. Or without gyro. Bam, 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 bam. You see, also pretty, pretty accurate, more or less. Once again, smack him. And he comes in, and I'm starting carefully shooting with aim. Aiming. Get the grenade. Enemy. Anyone? Okay, run away. And I'm and I'm really happy that I have this flexibility. Okay, they will kill me now, I guess. It's time for me to get out. Okay. No one else? A little bit more. Boom. Done. One more. Where's the enemy? Uncomfortable at the same time. Who else we can shoot here? Oh, this guy. More enemies upstairs. Let's go. Are they here? Yeah, they are. Grenade. Steam input allows us to do dual stage triggers. So instead of using left trigger, I'll be using right trigger for both aiming and shooting. I hold it a little bit, aim and shoot. But if I need to shoot without aim, I just need to hit it faster. Jumping on a roof. Let's go. Jumping on the roof, then jumping and dashing. Okay. Then jumping. Here. And jumping and dashing. Oh shit. <laughs> that was too far. Well, all right. I suck at parkour, but that shouldn't stop you from using right pad for, to aim. Hey people, today I want to show you just a quick sample of how nice it could be to play an FPS game with a trackpad instead of a right stick. I'm actually a PC player, I've played PC all my life, so of course if you're a seasoned console player, if you played Xbox, PlayStation and whatnot all your life and you're used to aiming with sticks. That's what I usually actually see on YouTube. People usually play all the first-person games, whether it's flick stick, whether it's gyro, whether it's just pure right stick action. They always use sticks because people are used to gamepads, but that's not me. I'm not used to playing FPS games on a gamepad, and that's why I would like to show you how comfortable it could be to play an FPS title with a properly set up right touchpad. We'll go over the game settings first. The display settings, basically it's mostly on low to hit 60 FPS when it's possible. Because quite often it's not possible, but here for example I set resolution to 1152x720. So it's not a native um, Steam Deck resolution. V-Sync off, field of view I use maximum. Those are the display settings. So graphics, custom preset, texture on medium, shadows on medium, anti-aliasing turned on, everything else is off, 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 and also screen space reflections on. The level of detail is also medium, so everything else is low. And very important is mouse setting. Mouse setting is 1%, so as minimal as possible, because the lesser sensitivity you have in game, the more information Steam input has to work with when using gyro or trackpad. So if it's possible, try to set mouse sensitivity in game as low as possible. As for key bindings, as you can see, I have gamepad prompts here. I'm actually not sure why. First of all, when I started playing Mankind Divided, I really tried my best to make it mouse and keyboard layout, Steam layout, but it's still the gamepad was always on anyway so instead what i did i switched 
to gamepad and mouse layout. I'll explain it in a bit, but basically I just want to quickly show you that my control scheme is standard. There are a few to choose from, and I divided Human Revolution, Standard and Breach, and I go with Standard. And let me quickly show you Steam settings. Frame rate I set to 60, frame rate limit, I limit it at 60, refresh rate 60, now I allow tiering because I want to be game as responsive as possible. TDP I limit to 12 because I don't like fan noise and with 12 I find that it's much quieter. Of course I can also edit fan curves but I decided not to. And since I'm not using the native resolution, FSR is set to FSR scaling filter and it's 5. So like this I think it works the best and it gives me 60 FPS as often as possible. Through Decky Loader, I have my Saturation Vibrant Deck set to 130 to all of the games. For all of the games, I never touch it. I once set it to 130, and I find that it's a perfect setting when you don't lose any details just yet, but the color is already more vibrant. It's pretty much the standard gamepad. I hope you guys can see it. But the name is Ganges Best Gyro plus R Pad Aim plus Gamepad Pad it's Mankind Divided Control Scheme. You can find it in a community layout if you wish to. My internet is off now, yeah. So there are quite a few of those. So if you scroll down, you will see this is the one I'm using at the moment and feel free to use it if you want to, up to you. It's the game to be played with right pad for aiming plus gyro. So when I'm using right pad, the gyro will work and you will see it later in action. And the whole control scheme is still recognized as gamepad. So analog sticks, analog and it's nice to walk left and right very comfortably not on VSD. I'm also using paddles, back buttons, these ones and these ones I use duplicating some of the features so I don't need to take off my thumb, right thumb from the touchpad to A, B, X, Y. A little bit more tweaks and adjustments. One single trick which I, I think is quite smart actually, I like it a lot, is on L4 this is my middle finger, L4. What I do is with L4 simulates B button, which is crouch. But at the same time, if I press and hold, L4 becomes left stick click because I really hate clicking sticks on gamepads, whether it's sprint or attack or whatever, I don't know. Somehow just when I do this action, the whole deck moves and I don't like the feeling of it. I sit and I sprint with the same button. When I need to sit, I just click it. When I need to sprint, I hold it for like 200 milliseconds. I set it here, I think, long press. Yeah, 200 milliseconds. And it's still very quick. It's very comfortable to do two different things with the same button. R5 button, what it does is deep head down. So deep head down is for me the Icarus dash. So the dash thing. And when I run, I kind of want to click the D-pad as well, right? But, like, I'll have to stop for this. And it's just so uncomfortable to run and stop and then run again. I just don't like the feeling. So instead what I did is I binded R5, this button, to the D-pad down for this specific title. And what it does, I can just run, sprint, and then I just hit R5. And it's my D-pad. So like I'm, I'm running, reloading, 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 looking around, right? Comfortably looking around, hiding behind the car if I need to, going that way again, then changing direction, sprinting. It's really nice and comfortable. I already finished the game. The game is really nice. Maybe not the best, but definitely not the worst. I strongly recommend you guys to check it out. Oh, another important setting, by the way, in the video to pay attention to when you set non-native resolution in Mankind Divided. Sometimes it goes foggy and whatnot. So switching back to some other resolution and then to the one you target fixes it. And all the fonts become much sharper than they used to be. So right now it's all absolutely readable and perfectly comfortable, but I'll remind you it's not a native resolution, which gives me a little bit more FPS. The game is in, let's go. What's the mission now? Go to the office, go to the office, all right. We will not go to the office, I just want to run around and show you around a little bit. So, the main reason why I'm sacrificing graphical fidelity a little bit and playing almost everything on low, if I set 40 FPS, the main problem with 40 FPS mode is that gyro and mouse less responsive than when you set it to 60. So once again, I can actually easily set it to 40, it's not a problem, right? So let me just do it right now. Refresh rate, it will be 40. 
Okay. And the game actually becomes more smooth, kind of. Like the visuals of it, right? The frame rate is stable, it's not jumping around. It should be more comfortable to play like this. But the, I don't know if you see it on the video or not, but the responsiveness of the mouse or gyro is just not as snappy. I can still play it, of course. Like, I can still turn around and whatnot comfortably, look up and down. Of course I can, but it's just less snappy. And instead, let me quickly show you how it feels when it's 60 FPS. With 60, unfortunately, the Steam Deck just cannot uh, constantly run this big city with 60 FPS, but the mouse is way more responsive, way more responsive. I'll just want to show you a little bit of like running around and traversing and movement. I'm not sure if I have the jumping skill yet, do I? You can see that the game is a little bit choppy. In the city it falls down to 45. In the smaller area and closed up environments it's stable 60 more or less. And another thing which I want to show you is this tap menu. It's extremely comfortable. I just created a custom touch menu and set icons for this. So instead of clicking Y, holding it down and then switching left and right as I would do with the gamepad scheme, right? Like, that's what any gamepad owner has to do. And for example, I want to open the map and then I have to go left and right like this endlessly. Instead, I just use keybinds, V, B, Tab, O, my objectives map, and my inventory backpack. Instead of holding Y and switching left to get my augmentations, I just click B. So instantly, top right corner B, I know it's my augmentations. If I need a map, bottom left corner, yeah. So that's my map, boom, map. And the controls are still gamepad controls. So even though the game treating it as gamepad controls, and you can see that, that I'm barely moving my stick, and it moves very slow, so it's analog, it's perfectly gamepad controls, but at the same time, I can still use keyboard for hotkeys. But objectives, it's really comfortable. You just run around, you need to find an objective, you need to remind yourself an objective. Click, okay, got it. I need a map, got it, sure. What's my inventory? Let's go, Praxis, sure, it's right here. Really nice and comfortable. Let me show you quickly how I made them. We go edit layout, here we go down, virtual menus, here I just created custom touch menu, edit, and as you can see, I just added uh, six buttons, V, B, tab, O, M, I, and for each of them I chose an icon, so for tab key, I can choose whatever icon, right, but actually I don't need an icon for tab key, so I just decided not to. Instead for the weapon wheel, I just chose this revolver because it does look like wheel you create it here and then you just assign it so trackpad i go left trackpad here i choose what i want it to be as mouse as whatever as d-pad and here i just choose it a name touch menu and here we go that's what it becomes you know not every game will work comfortably with gamepad plus mouse input at the same time because right now this is exactly what happens here i'm playing with a gamepad but I'm using my mouse input for gyro and for the right trackpad, mouse, navigation. So I also can use stick, by the way, as like traditional stick, of course, easily I can use it. But as you can see, I'm just so bad at it and it's so much less snappy than the quick, quick turn, quick, really comfortable turn. This is just amazing. And another thing, actually, what I wanted to show is dual stage trigger. So, as you remember, it's a gamepad, right? Like gamepad controls. So aiming, iron side mode is done by left trigger. I hold it, I enter iron side mode. Okay, that's comfortable. But Steam Input allows us to do dual stage triggers. So instead of using left trigger, I'll be using right trigger for both aiming and shooting. The way it's done is a hip fire mode. So let me go somewhere a little bit more quiet. So when I shoot, the, they will not jump at me. Okay. So, aiming with the right trigger 
and then I just finish pressing down and I'm shooting. Once again, I hold it a little bit, aim and shoot. But if I need to shoot without aim, I just need to hit it faster. Let's use tactical shotgun. Sure. So I need to quickly shoot without aiming, right? Someone is here. Boom. Smack him. Boom. Smack him. Boom. Smack him. But what if someone is crawling out there? Then I can just aim and shoot. Once again. Smack him. And he comes in, and I'm starting carefully shooting with aim. That's how comfortable it could be, if you want it to be, you know? And this way, basically, I actually free the left trigger. Technically, I don't even really need it anymore. I can use anything on left trigger, any other skill, any other button and whatnot. But I just keep it because I have enough buttons for the Steam Deck, and I'm, and I'm really happy that I have this flexibility. I also want to show you the gyro thing. So the way I set gyro is when I'm just moving it, it doesn't move at all. But when I hold the right touchpad, the gyro kicks in and I can keep aiming. And the way I set the sensitivity here is that, let me show you, for example, I'm aiming at the red flags, right? And with a single swipe, I can go a little bit more than 270 degrees, but not full 360. Like three thirds, I can finish, but not full 360. Once again, I'm turning left now from top right to top left, from the far right to far left. Oh, not 360. Once again, oh, not 360. So, because in general, I don't feel much need in turning 360 all the time, right? But if I really need to, I can look what I can do now. Now I add a little bit of gyro. I turn and then I add gyro. And then if I need to keep turning, I can keep turning gyro, you know? I can, with gyro only, I can make really sweeping turns and then using uh, touch as well. So I'm turning like this, yaw, and then roll. Or at the same time, both at the same time. It's like, with Jero you can go really flexible and it really helps to alleviate for any aiming issue. Like let's fight with these guys a little bit more and maybe I'll be able to show you a little bit more. Boom. Done. One more. Where's the enemy? Down there. Boom. Boom. Missing, 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 missing. Okay, losing my health. Let's heal up a little bit. Okay, done. So sometimes when I aim, I feel like I don't even need to move my stick and I just want to use gyro instead. I hope you see it, guys, right? Like, let me reposition it a little bit. So for example, sometimes I aim and I feel like I don't want to aim with my touchpad, but I instead I, I would just use gyro a little bit because I feel it might give me a little bit more control. Or I don't want to use gyro and I'm just using touchpad instead. Or if I need to turn fast, I use both, you know? Or I'm doing 360 turn and I'm using both. Oh, and then I just let it go for a brief second to even it out and I'm ready to do another turn. I'm already too far with yaw, but I still can roll. Hop, oh, it just works. And it works so marvelously comfortable. And of course you can really go deep with these settings and turn on trigger dampening, this and that, like many, many, many different features. But if you don't want, you don't need to. And I prefer just keep it simple and comfortable at the same time. Who else we can shoot here? Oh, this guy. So you see, like, I'm running at him, I'm hit, keeping him, I'm using my gyro to keep looking at him, and then I release it and fix it. Or, if I don't need to be extremely precise, I can just keep on using my trackpad. Which also gives me a pretty good aim, but using gyro together with it, I can really hold him in my scope almost all the time. And once again, it's not as precise as mouse, of course but it's way more precise than if I would be doing it with a touch, touch stick like this, like 
I would be just so bad with using it without Jero. You see, like, I'm like, oh, barely. Oh, no auto aim. What am I gonna do? Well, that's not a problem. I'll just kill them all with Jero turned on. I'm surprised I'm not dead yet, actually. This is probably one of the most successful runs I ever had against police here. Because actually I was playing this game full on stealth, usually. Oh, this guy is really solid. Let's use some tactical shotgun. Instead I'll run at him. Uh, click on a touchpad I said to the um, right stick click. I don't need it to be a mouse click, I already have my mouse click as a right trigger basically. Instead, when I need to turn someone off, I just right touchpad, right trackpad, click them. So this way I can easily like run around, shoot, and when I need to turn someone off, I'm just like tapping and they're gone. Like running around, shooting, 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 boom. But I think I'm doing okay. Assuming, okay, more enemies. More enemies upstairs, let's go. Are they here? Yeah, they are. Grenade. Jero trick, let me show you. Uh, Jero settings. As you can see, it's set as mouth, mouse. And I use combined yaw and roll. And what's really important is to get the direction right. So plus 100% means that your contribution is like going this or that way. And for me, Roll contribution works because uh, when it's minus 100. Roll contribution for me works when it's minus 100 because if I set it to plus 100, I'll see you the problem right now. Like I'm aiming, right? Like this. It goes one direction. And then I wanna keep aiming and it goes another direction. So it's not helping actually. It's kinda like you and Roll are fighting with each other. You see, I wanna aim left, but it goes right instead. But if I keep this roll motion, it will go left. So they cancel each other out. And instead, I do your 100% and I do roll minus 100%. And this way, the gyro works exactly as I want it to work. I go left and I need to keep going left. And then I keep going left. And I need to keep going a little bit more left and it keeps going left, and a little bit more left. You see, endless, almost endless, like turning left and right. So if, if I'm really in a pinch and I need to turn fast, and for some reason I cannot do it with my right thumb, because it's tired or whatever, I don't know, for whatever reason, right? I can even do it with the gyro. Bam, 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 bam. Almost like a flick stick. Or without Jero. Bam. 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 You see? Also pretty pretty accurate, more or less. That's pretty much it. I don't have much stuff to add. I hope you guys will find it useful. I think I don't need to even explain to you how comfortable the navigation and running around is when you set it this way. Like any sort of jumping like 360 turns when you jump, you know? Uh, for you console guys, console gods, who play uh, any FPS title since childhood on a gamepad, it's something, probably it's something of a gimmick and it doesn't make much sense. But for me, uh, it's basically night and day difference, you know? Jumping on the roof, then jumping and dashing, okay. Then jumping. Here, and jumping and dashing. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was too far. Well, alright. I suck at parkour, but 
that shouldn't stop you from using right pad for, to aim. I think I've said everything I wanted. Thank you guys. Happy gaming. Enjoy.